Hello everyone, welcome to Monty Excel, Excel in Life. Wherever you are in this world, we speak one language that is Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll see VLOOKUP magic trick, which 95% of the Excel user don't know. If you do not want to be among them, watch this trick. I have a small data set with the name and the salary, of course, in dollars, just to demonstrate. Just imagine if you have a millions of rows to be stored in the Excel and you wanted to look up the value at the same time, you do not want to store this raw data. This raw data, you don't want to store in the Excel itself because of the file size you don't want to store, but you want the final output without VLOOKUP. So let's begin writing a VLOOKUP, this action function to look up the data in the table organized vertically. That is what VLOOKUP is all about. V stands for vertical. So VLOOKUP has four parameters, all right? So let me start writing VLOOKUP, all right? When I say VLOOKUP, I have four parameters here. The very first one says lookup value. What is the lookup value? The value to look for the first column of the table. So this is the first column what you're looking for, that means you want to look for the name and you want to get the salary here. So that is a lookup value. So I'll try to use the lookup value name from here, which is blank at this moment. So let me select the cell. All right, let me lock the cell because it is not going to be moved anywhere. So I use comma, then it's saying table array. So what is your table array here from which table you are looking for? The table from which to retrieve a value. Right, so here is my table. So let me select. It doesn't matter whether you're selecting data from the headers or just data. I'm selecting the whole table here. All right, um, again, I'm using F4 key to lock from the both, that is rows and as well as the columns. All right, so once you say comma here, the next important parameter that is called as a column index number column index number, the column in the table, all right, we have a two column table here, two dimensional. In the table, which column you are want to retrieve a value from? So obviously I want to retrieve the value from the second one. So what you'll do is you'll use comma and say two, then it's asking you two things, whether it's a approximate match or exact match. Okay, so we are going to use the false here because I want an exact match. So I'm saying false and close the bracket. Once you hit enter, we are going to receive not available, right? Because there is no name. It is trying to look for a name in the table given, but it's not able to find because you have not provided anything. So let me give a name here. I said, Ronnie, I got the value, right? So let me change the name here now to Nani. The name is showing up and also providing the salary amount here. So instead of typing manually the names, let's try to build a data list. We all know how to create a data list. Okay, we can use Alt DL. Let me show you the shortcut. Alt DL, which will bring data validation. Now here I'm going for a list. Now select the source that is from Ronnie to Pratik. And once you say enter, say okay, you'll get a beautifully designed data list. So whatever the name you're selecting now, the life has become so more easy now, whatever the name you're selecting, Neetu, okay, a salary, Ritwik is salary. So it is now quite easy to search information. Now what exactly the trick here? Now let me try to remove the data, the data source for on which my VLOOKUP is working. Once I remove this, my information is not available anymore. That is showing as not applicable because it is not able to find for the person who paying, what is the salary? No, the data is not available. But what if, if you want to delete the data, at the same time, you want to produce the numbers that is salary or anything for that matter. So let me use Control Z to get the data back here, all right? So what I do here, let me just make it big, the formula bar. Now, if you look at closely, this is what our formula is. We look up B4, nothing but is looking for a value. All right. Now it is looking for a complete range. That is a table array. Then it is looking for the second column. If open, trying to find vertically. Okay, I found open. What is the salary? Okay, I'm bringing on a salary here. So that's how it is. We look up is working now. All right. So let's do one thing. Now, as I said, 
the trick which I'm going to use now, I want to delete this data, which is here, maybe in the other page, maybe in other workbook, doesn't matter. I don't want to store because of the file size. I want to delete, but still I want to hold the value which is there for the dolly 3380. All right, so let's do this trick. Now for that, I'll go for the formula bar. What I do is, we all know there is a key called F9, right? We all use F9 key to refresh the values or formulas in your Excel sheet. Sure enough, it working perfectly at this moment. Almost everybody knows that pressing F9 key in the Excel recalculates all the worksheets within the workbooks, right? In Excel, there are typically many ways to perform the same task. So it is. it should not be no surprise that there are multiple ways to check the formula as well. Now, if I want to check this formula, what exactly this table array is storing, let me go for a table array here that is starts from E to F. Okay, this is what I've selected. Let me select from the dollar. Now, this is what your range. In other words, it is your complete table. I'll use the magic shortcut key now that is F9. Use shortcut key that is F9 to check your formula. Just imagine it is trying to check B4. B4 is nothing but Dolly here. From B4, it is trying to see each and every name in the table and trying to find its corresponding salary. All right, I'm able to see all the values which are showing up in the table, right? So what if, if I remove the table from here, that is what the main task here. We don't want to store any raw data in Excel sheet anymore, either in a separate sheet, either in a hidden sheet, either in a separate Excel workbook. I want to delete the data, but still I want to hold the value what it is retrieved from the table. All right, so let me try to delete this data and see what happens now. Dolly is still showing up the salary here, right? Excellent. Let me change to Monty here, still showing up. I'll change to Ritwik, still showing up. This is amazing trip. What we look up, most of the users doesn't know, 95% of the user doesn't know. Now you know the trick how to remove the raw data but still hold the value for the real time. If you find this video informative, then click on like button and make sure to subscribe to Monty Excel. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.